What's up guys, welcome to your 44th Python tutorial. And this is a tutorial that I am sure many of you have been waiting for. We are finally going to build a graphical user interface. So instead of running our programs from the command line, we're actually going to be build a program that looks appealing and awesome to whoever's running it. So before we need, um, or excuse me, before we can start just building programs, we need to download um, pretty much all the windows and buttons and the things that make your program look cool. And this is called a GUI toolkit. And GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. And that's pretty much what we're looking at right now with um, this minimize thing so we can move this around. Um, these buttons and all these toolbars and stuff. That's what we're going to be building. Um, we couldn't do that before. We were running everything and looked like the matrix from a command line. But now I'm going to be showing you guys how to build awesome looking programs. So to download this thing called a GUI toolkit, go to WX Python. There it is right there. And you're going to want to go to download. And this is, of course, like I said, the best GUI toolkit. Not only in my opinion, but in a lot of people's opinion. So once you're in the download tab, scroll down. And you're going to want to run one of these downloads in Microsoft Windows most likely. Um, I chose this one, Win32 Unicode. You probably want a Unicode one, but, um, well, just go with that. And either 32 or 64, depending on your operating system. Most of you guys are probably 32, unless you have some, uh, well, a 64 one. But go ahead and click that 32 one. And I already did it, so I'm not going to do it again, or else it be worthless. But it's pretty much just going to give you executable. And once you download that, double click it and it's going to give you a wizard. Just click next about 80 times and after that you're going to have it installed. And don't change any of the defaults because if you did everything normally it should go right um, where Python needs it to go. So once you have that installed, um, and again if you installed anything ever before then you're not going to have any trouble with this. Go ahead and open Python and I want to show you guys a little test to see if it works or not go ahead and open up a new window and let's go ahead and start typing um, what I'm just gonna show you guys a simple window just to see if it works first thing you need to do is import WX and again I'm gonna be just copy it for now I'm gonna be teaching you guys this later this is just a test to see if you download it right so download WX dot app dot capital A P P with no parameters and then win equals wx wx dot frame and in your parameters in this put none with a capital N then put win dot show with no parameters and then put app main loop with no parameters so import wx app equals wx dot app win equals wx frame parameter none win show app dot main loop now if we go ahead and save this because we need to save it as something let's go put save as uh, uh, tuna with two u's doesn't really matter we can go ahead and run it and this is just going to show up a blank window and as you can see this is our very first graphical user interface we actually have a window that we can minimize move around now in the next couple of tutorials I'm going to show you guys how to add a toolbar to this, buttons, input areas, and uh, resize it and stuff like that. So this is our very first graphical user program. So if you got this blank frame, then you know that it worked. And this is how we can start building um, programs that the user can actually use. So again, don't pay attention to any of this stuff right here. This is just a test to see if it worked. In the next couple of tutorials, you'll know exactly what this means. But for now, I'm going to keep you on the edge of your seat and not let you know. So um, thank you guys for watching. Do all that, like I said. And once you're done and once that works, um, you're ready to move on to my next tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe and make sure to check out my next tutorial.